Well, he said he's still tired, but he's definitely ready to go. And when I asked him if this was his last session, he said absolutely not. So I think he's going to be around for quite a while. He had a lot to say. As you point out, Democrats did win a lot and passed a lot of bills in this building that were real priorities to him. But if we look back over the entire session, we have to start with way back in February when there was a scathing report about sexual harassment and it was targeting Senator Jeff Cruz. And the report found that some in leadership did not do enough to protect interns who were working for Cruz inside the building. Some wondered why Senator Peter Courtney, the Senate president, didn't just ban Cruz from the building. As the CEO, you can simply dismiss people or discipline people at will. I'm not a CEO. I mean, I have a legislative opinion right here that says I can't do with a certain senator who's threatened me on the floor and threatened the state police. I can't ban him from the building. And I, was think I asked for it because I was going to do it. And I did work hard on that area. But again, I was reminded no uncertain terms. I mean, everything I did to Cruz, I had no authority to do. None at all. Cruz, by the way, has denied the allegations, said he did nothing wrong. He finally resigned under pressure. We also talked about that huge new tax for schools. It'll give them about a billion dollars a year extra on top of what the legislature is sending them. That is, if voters don't overturn it. But Senator Courtney said it almost did not pass. It was extremely close. And here's why. We voted on that bill on a Monday. Pat Doris. I'm really surprised that none of you media have picked up on this through your profound research. What happened on Wednesday of that week, and it was leaked on Tuesday, the economic forecast went through the ceiling. I will tell you now, Peter Courtney could not have gotten 18 votes on Tuesday or Wednesday. That, and we would never have gotten that bill. Never. Never. But it did pass, and I believe the governor's already signed that into law. It may still be referred to the voters. We also talked about civility. Back in the day, 29 years ago, when I got here, and Peter Courtney's been here longer, the two sides would fight during the day, but then they would get together at night and talk about what's good for the state and what they saw in each other. Those days seem to be over, especially with two boycotts here in the session by the Republicans in the Senate. And it's very fragile very delicate, and you really got to love it and want to respect it. And that, those days are gone. They don't, there's, it's, it's my way, your way, my way is the only way, my policy. You know, that, that has to be, even now I've heard it say, well, I don't want to hear all this stuff about the institution. You know, they dismiss it. It's simply, you know, we've got power, you've got power, I got power. So, you know, it's a sad, I think it's sad time for the legislative branch, and therefore I think it's sad time for the way we govern. There's a lot more to our interview than we have time to show you here, but we're going to put this up on our KGW YouTube page. We recommend you go look for that. We'll have it posted later tonight.